Hello world, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We have another talky time for you. These are becoming slightly more frequent these days. <laughs> We're just going to turn on our engine here. Jebediah's going to go for a stroll in his biplane. Um, built this biplane using some parts um, that I'm going to be using in my tech tree that I'm making. I'll show you that in a little bit. No, we didn't need to turn on RCS now, did we? We could do a turn in the brake off. Yeah. This is a nice plane. Built mostly with just two mods. Oh, bouncy. Does fly, just need to sort out the trim a little bit there. There we go. And we can bring up the rear gear there. There we go. The landing gear on this biplane wheels and retractable uh, tail wheel. That does actually move. If you, um, where is it? Uh, toggle steering. True. And probably. Reverse steering? Don't know. We'll have to try that on the ground. But yeah, um, that's fire splitter aerospace or fire splitter pack, whatever planes pack, for the wheels there. And also this funky cockpit and engine. And uh, the extra cockpit's kind of oblong. So we've got an adapter in there from the mod, which is nice. Very nice. Oop, didn't mean to throttle down. We'll take a look at the cockpit. This isn't a mod spotlight on this, although. Because there's, there's plenty of mod spotlights, but look how cool this cockpit is. The texturing isn't up to par with such things like B9, but it doesn't need to be. It's got all the toys you want. Look at this moving, moving stick. This is awesome. All these switches here work. Like, you know what? Let's do it. If we turn this in, well, apparently that magically uh, made our SOPs, SOBs fire. So that was really odd. And apparently our SOBs are kind of stuck on now, which is even odder. We didn't even need to stage them. But it did turn our other engine off. Probably not wise to use them with SOBs. But yeah, there's little switches in there like raise and lower the landing gear, so that's cool. It's a cool. We're also using, uh, we got wings here. Uh, made from parts from uh, Tevaro, Tevaro's aerospace pack or plane pack or whatever it is. Tevarius. It's called TV's parts, usually TV's parts. Um, you know, that, that includes the tail there, so it's pretty cool. It's, it's come in for the kill here. Push it to the limit. Well, that was a fail. We certainly didn't push on to the limit. Let's uh, slow up a bit. Get that turn right down. Or up, rather. Well, we've uh, appeared to make rockets that fire straight into the sky, but that's absolutely fine. Let's trim this back out a little bit. She's a good plane. I like her a lot. Anyway, let's talk about let's talk about stuff. Let's talk about stuff. Oh, what have I been up to? Um, I've been playing some Eve Online. Uh, it's a good game. Very interesting. It's got a it's got a level of complexity that I haven't seen in an MMO since the days of, and it surpasses it even, but the days of Star Wars Galaxies. Now, hands up if you remember Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, the best, the best Star Wars game ever made. Ever made. Um, screw your The Old Republic doesn't compare. Not a sausage does it compare. What was it, 24 different professions, well you could you call them classes um, and arbitrary kind of, well arbitrary but um, what would you call it a bespoke kind of point system so you could cross train between different classes or did, yeah I just call them classes for simplicity's sake um, back in the day when I played uh, I was a master fencer, kind of a stun baton deal, you know, riot Good for knocking Jedi around the head, stunning them. Great fun. Jedi were rare. Had to be unlocked. Anyway. Wow. That was a terrible flying. Anyway, yeah, it was a good game. Um, but we've also been working on a tech tree uh, for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm going to try and make this available uh, for... Um, wow, these, these buildings are bloody beautiful. Look, there's an access there to get on the roof. Bloody beautiful. Ooh, we're inside the building. So nice. Air conditioning units. 
details are amazing on these buildings. I tell you, that man's a pro. Absolute pro. Anyway, I'm not blathering about that. I love the crates though. Mm -hmm. The little trucks. Where's the trucks? There's one. Oh, I can't zoom in on. There it is. Cool little cargo car. Anyway, yeah, we'll take a look at the tech tree. Now, anyway, guys, here is the tech tree I've been working on. It's messier than most people's I've seen. Um, but I think it follows a, a, an interesting pattern and choices and options. Um, you start off, um, as I said, with the you know, the regular flight stuff. I haven't put any parts there. The parts I haven't assigned them properly yet. They're still all in the menu and stuff. So uh, still need to do that. Just getting the layout and the general idea. The early flight, so biplanes, propellers, etc., etc., and so forth. And we'll then move on to heavy flight which is going to be just bigger wings, bigger engines, that sort of thing. Then you've got the first branch off, which goes, uh, you know, simple research. This might be a couple, you know, one or two science devices, something interesting. You never know. Um, we'll work that out as we go along. Um, I, as I said, I haven't assigned any of the parts yet, but I have a general idea of what's going in where. Uh, then we move on to Gotta Go Fast, which is going to be uh, Separatrons, kind of tiny SRB dealies, and really tiny jet engines um, the idea being strap them to the wings of whatever you've got to try and give you a boost higher altitude then that branches off into uh, your rocketry and your planes um, rocketry is pretty standard it's uh, early rocketry and you got liquid fueled rocketry which is where you get your first liquid engines there's a merger there which is docking uh, this is like a, an either or, you don't need both to unlock it, so you could go straight up the planes route and everything, so it's just interesting. Over here, alternative fuels, that's going to be Cathane and the first use of RCS. Um, we have advanced RCS here, um, micro rocketry which leads into our advanced RCS, uh, advanced rocketry techniques, heavy rocketry, bigger parts, and then advanced heavy rocketry, even bigger. You need both of those tech trees to unlock, of course, hybrid engines like the Sabre from the B9, B9 pack. Reusable theory is going to have um, like your cargo bays, that sort of deal. Um, most of these down here are kind of a blend. They kind of go through research, um, construction, like survivability, uh, you know, power management, electrics, your, your wheels and stuff. And these eventually lead off into. Uh, what have we got here? We got like robotics comes from like the probes and stuff. That'll be that'll be like your uh, your hinges and your joints and all that. Orbital construction from space stations down here, living in space, you know, requires uh, electrics and power management and survivability, etc. There's a there's a theme to it. And uh, up here, if you get if you get all the advanced construction and the science and advanced heavy rocketry, you can get applied atomics like the Nerva. Um, it's I tried to lay it out in a logical order. Uh, it's not very pretty though. The the the, the arrow des designations. It's very hard to make an arrow that goes down, and it's very hard to make an arrow that goes back. That's why these ones that come down aren't in line. They go forward because the arrow is going to get messed up. Um, but it's a cool tool. Tree edit. That is um, to do this. Yeah. Once it's done, I will be trying, I will send it to um, the guy who made it to see if he can add it into the online tree database. That way you just install it and in, or install tree loader or whatever it is that you need and you click it and it will appear in the list and you just click it and then load and then save it and that will be in your world. So uh, you could use this and this is going to be for Fire Splitter, Tavarios, Aerospace, AIES Pack. Uh, fire splitter. If I didn't say that, I probably did. B9 aerospace. If I didn't say that already, I probably did. Repeating myself a million times. Uh, um, magic smoke industries, robotic parts, um, Kerbal attachment system, cathane, uh, the works, works. We're gonna have a fun time with this, and yeah, we're gonna get this done. And you know, winter's here. Got some free time. What we can do is we can. We can get back into campaign. Oh yes, we can get back into campaign. 
But it's going to be a little different this time. Uh, we're not going to use my clunky rules because we don't really need them anymore. We've got the tech tree, which is going to be, you know, our, our thematic tool of use. And you guys are going to choose what we research. Um, basically, at the end of the episode, we're going to go, go to the tech tree and we're going to see what points we have. And we are going to basically say, okay, guys, which one do we would learn? This one or this one? And then in the comments, you tell me which one we learn. And then we learn it. And then the next episode, we go from there. So you decide the path we take and what parts we use to do the missions, you see. And that's going to be funky and probably leads to some funny shenanigans. <laughs> so um, hopefully that'll, uh, that'll turn all right. The, the list, this shouldn't take much longer to do. I've got a few more nodes to add in over around the side here to the right. Um, they're going off into warp drive and stuff and some other space station-y bits and, you know, like advanced tech. And then just up shove in the parts, um, put better work namings and names on, on the uh, tech nodes and change all the symbols, of course, because at the moment they're all high altitude pictures. So yeah, uh, that's going to be that's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun to get back into that. So this is basically just what I've been up to. So um, tell me what you think about that. If you can, Google nonsense plus etc. Ugh. Anyway, bye. -yes.